In this tutorial, we will teach you how you can run the Google Chrome operating system using two basic virtualization softwares, VMware and VirtualBox. So first, let's download all the things that we need to run the operating system. Let's log on to chromeos.hexeh.net, and once the web page loads, scroll down, and over here we will download both the VMware and the VirtualBox build one by one. You would have to agree to the terms mentioned in this page before downloading any build. With that taken care of, now let's download the two virtualization softwares. For that, first let's log on to VMware.com. And once the web page loads, hover over the Downloads tab and click on the Workstation option. From this page, you can download the trial version for free. Just click on the Get Free Trial link and download a version according to the operating system you are using. Next, we will log on to virtualbox.org and move to the download section. Here we will download the latest package for Windows. You can download a version according to your operating system. Once everything has been downloaded, you can install both applications by simply double-clicking on each setup file and moving through the installation steps. Once installed, let's open the VMware workstation first and use it to run Chrome OS. With the application opened up, let's extract the Chrome OS VMware build that we downloaded earlier. Once extracted, we will simply select the virtual machine configuration file and drag it to our workstation library. With that done, the workstation will automatically read the configuration file, and now let's power the virtual machine. Once you do that, it will ask you to locate the VMDK file which is used to power the virtual machine. Simply click on Browse and select the VMDK file over here. With that taken care of, the Google Chrome OS will be launched. Once you see the Chrome startup screen, notice over here it's asking you to set up the network, and in most cases, the physical network adapters require a different kind of interface to be used for the virtual network interface card. That's why it will not detect any kind of network here. To fix this, let's exit from the full screen mode first and power off the virtual machine. After that, we will configure the virtual machine configuration file by opening it with a text editor. In this case, we will simply open it in Notepad. Over here, we need to set the virtual network adapter to E1000. For that, we will add the following line. Ethernet 0 dot virtual dev equals to E1000, right at the bottom over here. After that, simply save the file, and let's open up the VMware workstation once more. Over here, simply power the Chrome OS, and once the startup screen appears, you can see over here that will automatically detect the network you are connected to. Now you can move on with the initial configuration. Sign in with your Gmail ID, and after the processing is finished, you can select an image for your account, and after that, the welcome screen will appear right in front of you. In Chrome OS, you will primarily work with web-based applications. You can open up the Chrome web browser and surf the web. You can even check up on your inbox and use other Google services, such as Google Docs and others. If you click on the Files option here, a new window will open up where you can access both the files you downloaded through the browser or present in your Google Drive account. Chrome OS comes with a complete set of file managers, media players, and practically everything you need for basic computing. Now let's move on to VirtualBox. Simply double-click on the icon here to open up the application, and after that, let's extract the Chrome VirtualBox build. With that done, let's move to the VirtualBox Manager and click on the New button. Once the Create Virtual Machine window opens up, let's give a name to the virtual machine and choose the type of operating system we want. For this tutorial, we will choose Linux for the type and Other Linux for the version. In the next step, you will have to choose the amount of RAM memory that has to be allocated to the virtual machine. One gigabyte of memory will be enough for now. In the next step, you have to choose the storage location. Over here, we will link this virtual machine to the virtual hard drive file that we extracted earlier. So let's enable this option here. Click on the Browse button and select the virtual hard drive file. With that done, the virtual machine will be created. But before we can launch the operating system, let's open up the settings window to configure the virtual machine. 
Over here, move to the Network section and click on the Advanced option. Now let's open the drop-down menu next to the adapter type and choose the Intel Pro 1000 MT desktop option. This will allow the Chrome OS to access your network settings. Now let's hit the OK button and start the virtual machine. For some of you, the operating system will start from this point onwards. But for others, this error will be displayed on the screen here. The OS is not able to boot because of the PAE error, which stands for Physical Address Extension, and we would have to move back to the settings and enable this option. So let's close the window here and power off the machine. With that done, let's open up the Settings window once more, move to System, and open up the Processor tab. Over here, next to Extended Features, simply tick on the checkbox titled Enable PAENX. With that done, let's click on the OK button and start the machine. By default, when we launch the Chrome operating system, the mouse won't work. So let's head over to the Machine menu and click on the Disable Mouse Integration option. Now let's close these pop-up messages here and enter the full screen mode. And over here you can see that the Chrome operating system has been launched. Once you go through the initial setup, the welcome screen will appear right in front of you. Now let's open up the Chrome browser, move to the Options panel, and click on the Settings option. Over here, you can set up and change the settings of the operating system, from the network settings right at the top to the device mouse speed, and even changing the users by clicking on the Manage Other Users option here. You can further dive into other settings by clicking on the Advanced Settings option here from privacy to languages, and changing the location of the downloads folder, you can customize each and every option according to your requirement. At the end, you can even reset the device by clicking on the power wash button here. This way, you can try out and see the different features present in the Chrome operating system. Thanks for watching. This was a HowTech.tv tutorial.